Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. And you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords above it. And I've got some of the fun little riffs in here typed in too. Okay, so I'm going to put it on and play it with them once with a few mistakes because I can't. In fact, I'm going to show you the intro kind of first because I can't go as fast as they can go. So, kind of start, kind of goes like this, but I can show you how to do it afterwards. I'm not very good at solos, as you can tell. Practice had time to practice, I could get that faster, but then, then you're gonna go to okay, so I'm gonna kind of walk you through that whole song. Okay, let me put it on and play it with them. And there's a fun little riff in the middle, which I'll probably blow also because it's a lead and I'm not lead, but I can show you how to do it and you can practice it. Okay, put it on and play it with them. Okay. Fun song though, huh? Which is my least favorite chord because it actually pops a vein in my hand almost every time I play it. I just have a hard time with them. Not other bar chords. This one actually physically hurts. So I wasn't getting a great sound, but I hope you can do it better than I can. A lot of guys play it like this. They just put their ring finger down. If they have a little bit of a bend at that knuckle, they can just lay it down and bar. And I can't do that. I'm 
I'm not a guy, I don't have that kind of strength. Anyway, so if that works for you, for you do that. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna um, walk you through this, start with your capo on the third fret. And to do that little intro, we're gonna go, we're gonna start with um, our pointer on the fourth string, no, sorry, first string, fourth fret, and our tall man on the second string, fifth fret, and we're gonna pluck one, two, and six. And we're gonna let six ring, and we're gonna go, no. So what that is, is I'm on four and five, and then I'm going to slide up to five and seven, and then seven and nine, and then back down, and then four and five. And I have that all typed up for you, and I call it a slide and stretch. So you're going to slide here, slide up one, but then you're going to stretch, and then you're going to slide up two, and then slide back two, and then back down. So you're just going to kind of slide up and slide back down. So here, slide and stretch one. So, you, so here, slide up one and stretch, and slide up two, and slide back two, and then back down to where you were, okay? Oh, that was terrible. Okay, and then you're gonna go up to the yeah, 12th fret. Well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with the cape on, it's the ninth fret. Okay, so it's the ninth fret and then the t tenth fret, and I'm gonna pluck five. Okay, now if I had, I should be playing this on electric, but I just didn't feel like it tonight. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, because then it has a cutaway and I can move a little bit easier. You're gonna do the exact same thing. So you're gonna do um, one, two, and five, slide up one and stretch, and then slide up two, and then back down two and then back to your original. So you just kind of walk up and then walk backwards exactly where, where you were. And then go to your, go back down to your fourth and fifth and repeat that. And then I'm gonna go to a B7, which is the pointer, this is kind of an unusual chord, the pointer on the fourth string, first fret, and then five, three, one, and just pluck one, two, three, and five. Technically you don't need four, but if you bump him, you want him to be not, you know, Actually, you do need them in a second. Because now you're going to go four, four, four. So I'm going to pluck that fourth string. So I'm going to pluck one, two, three, and five. And then I'm going to hit the fourth string and then slide up a fret and then slide up two frets. So he starts on the first, second, fourth. Okay. Down. I missed it. Let me try again. Okay, so that little beginning. So that little beginning, and then you repeat it. So this little beginning sounds like this. Number five. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, I'm hitting too many notes. Okay, let's start over. Okay. This is kind of a lead thing that I don't do very well. Okay, but that's it. If you guys want to practice that, that's kind of, there's a bass guitar underneath all that, but I can't do them both. So I'm just focusing on the top, and then later we pick up the bass. We do that kind of So that's kind of, we bring in the bass. Granted, it's still an octave higher, but that's all I've got on the guitar. Okay, so that is our intro, and then we're gonna, after we've just gone Okay, now we're gonna start on our E, okay, and we're just gonna strum, and I've got two strums for you here that you can try. Okay, so the first one is down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you can go bass, That might be easier than a B for me. Wow, I should do that. I didn't even think of that till just this minute. Gosh, that would have been whole whole song would have been easier for me because I can hit a B7. It's a hard chord, but I can still hit it. So there's your B7th, and here's your B. Wow, that just hurt. 
hurts my wrist. I don't know why. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna go through it. I'll probably do a B because that's what I practiced. Here we go. So I'm just gonna go. on the second string, fifth fret, and then my ring is up on the fourth, pinky on the third, on the seventh fret. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Barring the fourth, tall man on the fifth, ring and pinky on the sixth. To me, that's the ninth, but that's okay. With cape one, it changes everything. Okay. So that's my C sharp minor. Okay. I'm going to kind of do that. And you. about this. So there's a little optional high riff walk down that you can do. The first and the third strings are on the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, and the eighth, and I've got this typed up for you. Let's see, it goes like this. Okay, so, and you could, no, you can't, no, you can't hit any bass notes. Mm, that clashes. No, no. No bass notes. Whew. I just kind of played it with them and I didn't realize I didn't have a bass note to go with that. So it would sound like a... No, I can't, I can't hold that down. That's the bass note I need. La 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 la, I have no idea what note that is. I still don't know what note that is. So that's... What key am I in? E. So da 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 da. E. Oh man, my piano is getting new keys so I can't even look at it. E. F. G A B. Oh, that's a B. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so da da. So I kind of need that B. But anyway. So if you want to do that, what I'm doing is on the seventh fret, first string, tall man on the third. Let's see, eighth fret, third string. I'm going pluck, pluck, and then I'm going to slide down two frets. And then I'm going to slide down just one fret, but kind of carry my tall man on top. So now both of them are on the fourth fret. And then I skip down to the second fret. Okay? Let's see. Back to your E. So that's a little optional walk down riff if you wanted to. Okay, then you're back to your E. Second verse. And then you go right. 
right back to your knee. Okay, so I'm going to show you that fun little part. That is fun and it's not too hard. Okay, so after I did la ti da, two, three, four. So you kind of stay on that E four times and then you go six, pause, six, six, pause, six, six, pause, six, six, pause. And I'm on my E and then I'm just going to mute it just to give it a beat there so that I don't, because I want to, uh, there's something there, but if I hit six, then it gets a little confusing leading into the next part, but if I kind of mute it, it kind of gives it a little bit of a drum, and kind of like that. So six, pause, six, six, pause, six, six, pause, six, six, mute. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now I'm going six, pause, six, six, six. And right on that last six, I'm going to grab the fourth fret, and I have this typed up. Six, pause, six, six, six. And under the last six, it's got a fourth, which means fourth fret. Okay, and then it, so it kind of walks you through it, and then you go up to five, 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 and what that is is two fives, so first to five, pause, five, five, fourth fret, and then sixth fret. Okay, five, 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 and then you're going to grab the fourth string on the second fret. You just hit that once, and you're going to go five, no, four, four, and then I'm going to jump back to six. I did there was I went four six 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 and on that last six I'm gonna hit the fourth fret and then I'm gonna jump to the fifth string and I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hold down the second fret and I'm gonna go five 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 so five pause five pause five five okay so let me do that again six 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 yeah those four six 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 Again, you can go to rainydayguitar.com, print off the words with the chords and all the fun little things about, you know, riffs and how many times to hold that and stuff like that. All right, okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And um, just remember, for more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com.